And it's, it's worldwide. And we're trying to raise the um, knowledge about epilepsy and take away some of the myths that are uh, out there about epilepsy. It's just basically to raise awareness and to pass the information to people that if you come across somebody that the, the uh, first aid measures, if you come across somebody that's having a seizure, you don't have to call the ambulance unless they don't come out of it in a short period of time. You don't have to put anything in their mouths anymore. That was a myth that's been gone for years. The most important thing is to watch them, stand beside them, keep them safe. If they start to fall, guide them to the floor, to the floor, to the ground and, the, and keeping them safe is that they, they don't hurt themselves. And, and, uh, and also to the knowledge that most people that have epilepsy are of normal intelligence. So you wouldn't know that somebody that uh, is sitting beside you could be epileptic and then they could have a seizure at any space of time. So it's just something that, uh, but there is a stigma. It's, it, people don't, aren't comfortable with other people that have seizures. It, I think it's because to watch someone else lose control of them, themselves is hard because we want to be in control. We want to, uh, uh, we as human beings have that innate need to be in control of our environment. And when we, when you watch the seizure take control over a person, it, it is, it's, it's quite, um, it's, well, it's scary, I guess it is. Yeah. So my first career was working with handicapped children. Okay. And uh, it was a two-year college program that we did through Sioux College. I did through Sioux College and I worked in the field for about six years um, and all, all types of uh, disabilities and uh, abilities and whatever you can uh, imagine. So I worked in London for 18 months and then I worked in the Sioux with adults. And then um, about eight, 10 years later, I had my first son and um, he was three years old when he started seizuring. So he's uh, epileptic. And um, I went to the Epilepsy Society here in town as a, a parent. And uh, they, were, they had a funded office and they were helpful, but I had a lot of background information. I knew exactly what I was dealing with, but it was just for support. And there were a group of people in town that met regularly. And uh, a dear friend of mine also was epileptic and had gone through the surgery. So he was on the committee as well. So we worked together to try and bring support to um, people in the Sioux area that were um, needing questions answered and ideas and things like that. 